Okay, sige. Sorry, ako. Yeah. Ako, ako na. Okay, so uh, sorry we're not using StreamYard at the moment. Clara, am I live on Facebook? Are we live? Live tayo on Facebook, okay, yes. Okay, so we had to fix a bit of uh, technical difficulties. So we went from StreamYard to Zoom kasi si Papa B nawawala. Nawawala. Nag-flicker, flicker. Yeah. Tapos si our, our, uh, our guest co-host for today is uh, no uh, none other than Papa B. And of Yay! course, Papa B. Papa B. <laughs> And then our Papa main B. guest. Ayan. Main guest. Hindi na, uh, uh, na natin kailangan introduce kasi ang dami niyang ano eh, uh, awards sa PBA. MVP. Nine, di ba? MVP. Nine-time uh, All-Star uh, player. Two-time MVP All-Star. Am I correct? One time. One, One time. time. Ayan. Multiple uh, PBA champion. And ito, one, uh, the youngest player to ever be inducted in the 25 greatest PBA players. Tama? You were the youngest, correct? Yeah. Yes. Of course. Or so, or, 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 or so he says. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, we have him here uh, due to the fact that there's a big explosion on the new uh, uh, hot news for this week. You know, a lot of us are sad. Hence the reason we uh, got one of the, in fact, one of the Mount Rushmore's greatest uh, players of Alaska. None other than Kenneth Captain Marvel Duremdes. Boyet? Good evening. Oh, where's your music, Boyet? Ay, wala ka music. Zoom to Yay! eh. Zoom. Ayan. Ayun. Ayun. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, I got to move everything. So, thank you so much, uh, Kenneth. You know, those that are watching, thank you as well. We can't see your comments because we're using a new platform. So, Minamonitor ko. So, good evening. Pat. Minamonitor mo. Good. I comment okay. na siya kagad. Yes. Ayan. So, Kenneth, of course, we're going to have to ask, you know, Ken. How did you actually start? Uh, who you know basketball and who influenced you? Uh, I started playing basketball back here in the province. Uh, like uh, I was in grade four, so um, by that time, mula pa kami balita ko ano ang basketball sa Manila, which is the PBA. So naririnig namin through radios until such time na no mid high school na ako. Uh, medyo ako yung one of the tallest here sa high, no high school days. And it so happened, doon ko lang din alaman na ang dad ni Alvin is my kababayan. And there are stories also na narinig ko dito sa mga kasabayan ng papa niya na dito rin siya born but uh, hindi confirmed. Parang yung tatay niya works for the bank before and then he got transferred to Banco Central sa Manila. Kaya yung family niya nag-migrate sa Manila. So, one time nagbakasyon siya and um, lahat ng mga kakilala niya dito is looking for a player na tulutulungan niya and dalhin sa Manila. And uh, ako, yung, ako yung sinasuggest ng mga kakakilala niya. And then, set up a meeting dito. And uh, sabi niya kung gusto ko raw maglaw sa Manila. Sabi ko, gustong gusto ko. Pero sabi ko, eh, probinsyano po ako. Wala ko alam sa Manila. Baka mamaya, <laughs> anong mangyari sa amin? Ako, bahala sa iyo. Ipapasok kita sa Adamson. So, it was uh, Alvin's father. Who Alvin, okay. Just, 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 just to be clear, uh, Kenneth, no? sinong Alvin? Kasi may Alvin, Alvin eh, may patrimonyo, may <laughs> Alvin. Eh, sino doon? Si the captain, Alvin Patrimonio. Oh, okay, si Patrimonio. Okay. Alin patrimonyo. So, dinala niya ako sa Adamson. And uh, from there, uh, it's all, ano na, it's all me na. Hard work na. And uh, focus na sa training for my goal to to play in the PBA. Was it always your, was it really always your dream to use basketball as your tool to, uh, to, 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 to reach a certain uh status in life mm. Kenneth uh to me sa akin ang um, interpretation ko before ng basketball when I was still here in the province is just pure basketball never imagine na ganun pala siya kalaki sa Manila mm. ganun siya ka celebrated yeah. and mm. it's kind of parang uh livelihood na 
Pero pa kain tindi ko dati basketball lang siya. Pag sa probinsya laro lang siya. 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 Ah, okay. Laro lang siya. And then nung na-realize ko nung sa Manila na ako, ganito pala kalaki. And I thought malaki na ako. <laughs> I was tall. Okay, hey Brad, malaki so, ka naman talaga eh. Wait, how tall were you then? How tall Alo, alam mo yung alam mo yung 6'3 height ko dito noon, sentro ako, pero pagdating ko ng Manila, And then, my first day in practice, I saw EJ File and Marlu. So, can you imagine that? Parang sabi ko, ano tong, ano tong pinasok ko? <laughs> no, no, okay, wait, wait. Let, let, let's, just, let's just backtrack a bit. Ano? Your first experience in, 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 uh, in basketball in the big city in Manila nga was collegiate basketball, di ba? So, Sheb, just to refresh the memory of our audience, bas- yeah. collegiate basketball ka uh, ang, ang pinasok muna ni Kenneth. Uh, okay. Of course, a lot of you know that, uh, and then for those who don't, part of the Adamson uh, Adamson uh, Championship team, which had sino sino mga kasama don? EJ, sino pa? Marlu. 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 Sino pa? Uh-huh. Giovanni Pineda. Oh, si Joe. Oh, Giovanni. Uh-huh. Okay. Er- Erwin Luna. Yun yung mga nagpro. Eh. Yun yung mabot uh-huh. ng pro. Uh-huh. Erwin, Erwin, Erwin. So how how was that how was that sabi mo nga just to continue your story you come to the big city from the province nakita mo yung mga gigante sabi mo nga sa probinsya okay bigla <laughs> ito na ito ito na yung ito na si Marlo Aquino na hindi ko makalimutan dahil in one interview sabi si Marlo sabi sa kanya ni Marlo alam mo Tito Boyet minsan kasi pag may pinapasana ko ng tao ng bola pag tumig sa akin panis na eh <laughs> <laughs> shot hindi ko, makakal- shot. <laughs> oh, hindi ko makakalimutan yun eh. Pagdating, pagbasa ko sa kanya ng bola, pagdating sa akin, panis na. <laughs> so, you, you, you were able to see, coming down to Manila, nakita mo, sentro ko sa probinsya, may mas malaki pa pala sa akin. Mm-hmm. How did that feel? Yeah. Well, I have no choice. To me, parang, uh, I think na sabi ko, wala akong future dito kung magsesentro pa ako. Six three. So I, I, yes, I decided to again to change the you know my game. Mahapos sabi ko kailangan dito pagpractice ang ko talaga yung shooting. Kasi kung sa mm. sa maglalaro ko ng centro or power forward, wala lang mangyayari sa akin. So at the early stage, kinondisyon ko na yung mind ko, nakaroon ko ng mindset na ito talaga ng gagawin ko, training ko every day, ang extra practices ko. Uh, doon na nakapokus sa shooting and doon sa dribbling. So, with my first two years nga doon sa school, dahil nga, in, syempre, big league na to eh. Mga, mga, mga mabibigat na yung mga kasama ko, mas uh, malalaki. Hindi ako na masyado nabigyan ng, uh, uh, ng breaks. Dahil nga, uh, syempre, iba ang laro sa Manila, iba sa probinsya. So, marami pa ako dapat matutunan. In short, So, I worked hard for it until such time na nagkaroon ng tryouts for 18 under pa noon sa RP Youth. Okay. Oo oh, nga pala, nag-RP Youth ka nga pala. Nag-RP Youth. And luckily, nakuha ako with uh, yung mga kasama ko doon sila. Dennis Espino, Rodney Santos, wow. Michael Orquillas, Patrick Fran. Yun yung mga teammates ko. Oh. Asa, alam mo, so, asa yun, actually, alam mo yung RP Youth na yun? Asa yan yung team na yun? Yes. Asa, 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 asa yan ang composition ng team. That was a fun team to be in. Seriously. How old, were you, how old were you at that time? This RP Youth team? I was 18. Kasi wow. ang youth team nun, 18, 18 under. Ang, ano, okay, nun, wala, under. Yun, yeah, 18 under. 18 under. under. Yeah. So, yes, and, uh, baga, 18 ka mismo nung 18 ka mismo nung napasama ka sa team. Sino pinakabata sa inyo nun? Who was the youngest? If you, if you, can, uh, recall, if you can recall. Kami, kami ni Dennis Espino nung pinakabata. By Eight months. months. Uh, one, By month, months. Uh, one month. Wow. Um, uh, Kunti lang pala. Kami pinakabata so ni Dennis. Majority, majority sa inyo, 18 talaga lahat. Kumbaga, ka, 18. Ka, ka, cutting it close talaga lahat. Okay. Lahat 18. Buwan. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, sa kay naglaro nun? Sa kay pumunta? Uh, When did you travel? Our first, our first uh, international exposure, yung mga pre-tournament uh, sa amin, pre-season tournaments, uh, sumali kami sa Guam Invitational Tournament. And nag-champion kami doon, unang sali namin. So, 
tinalo namin ng Korea doon na uh, nagpadala rin ng team nila na 18 under. And then yung proper tournament na sa Beijing, China nung 1990 yan. And uh, yun lang. Uh, sa crossover nakalaban namin China. Oy, yeah. So <laughs> hindi hindi kami nakalusot ang nangyari lang nag nagano lang kami for bronze na tinalo natin ng Japan noon. Okay. Yan ang nangyari. Uh, Nag-bronze tayo. Si, 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 okay. Go ahead. Sino, uh, sino coach mo noon? Go ahead. Can it... Ang coach natin noon is si, si coach Francis Rodriguez, ang mga assistant coach sila Tembong Melencio. Asite. Okay. Wow! Lasal, Lasal, the, the late, ano, the late, yeah. the late, the late Tembong, and sila Horacio Lim, yun yung mga coaching no. staff natin noon. <laughs> si, si Claro, 1990, how old were you, Claro, 1990? Born, born 95 ako, not to take a dig. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ayun, ayun. So, not to ano, pero while growing up, I'm at the stage where I'm just learning the game, no? So, kita ko si Kenneth, national team and all of that. More of the, oh, okay, ito yung mga idol ko. Not yet yung point na, okay, yung style of play niya. I'm going to copy this person. I'm going to copy yeah, that. Yeah. More of yung, yung superhero view. Sa nah, akin, yun, at that stage, yeah. ayun. Sakto pa, Captain Marvel, di ba? Yeah. Ayun. <laughs> you know, be, be, before, we will eventually go to what, 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 what eventually became Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. But, Why, while while we are here in the in the in the early days of, of Kenneth, so you have already uh, played for Flag and Country by by representing uh, the Philippines in a youth tournament. Um, how was it getting a championship in Manila via Adamson? How was that? Um, napaka special niya kasi uh, in a sense na. Uh, big time talaga siya to me. Dito marami akong championship sa probinsya eh. Parang sa akin nun, parang uh, wala. Uh, champion dito sa mga barangay level, sa schools. Pero pagdating doon, ang first championship ko yung National College at namin sa 1991 sa Ilvilo. So yun ang first championship na sabi ko, iba pala ang ano, iba yung pride stake pag nag-champion ka. And Actually, 1991, doon na uh, unti-unti na nakikita yung talent ko. That's why uh, nung nag-try out ako ng 1992 pala yun, yung Beijing namin. Uh-huh. Nag-try out ako, doon na, ano, na, na nakita and doon na ako na-recognize na uh, possible na maging national player. So, yun yun. So, napaka-importante maging champion. Yeah. Dahil all eyes, eh. all eyes sa inyong lahat. Eh. Dahil uh, yung mga scouts, and yung mga coach yung mga national coaches natin no naka-focus dun sa mga college guys kasi nung time na yon uh, amateur lang pinapadala sa national uh, tournaments walang pro mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at saka ito pa isang tanong ko di galing ka probinsya yeah. na, Manila di ba galing ka probinsya na punta ka na Manila ang college basketball sa Manila nasa TV yon oh and then my yeah. drums my may drums. drums pa ayun oh, ano yung pakiramdam mo <laughs> Unang, di ba, di siyempre, di ba, wala, pang, wala pang big screen sa mga venue nun eh. Pero oh, alam mo, pag nakatutok yung camera sa'yo. <laughs> ano yung pakiramdam mo nun? You can tell it. You can tell it. You can tell it. Hindi ko ba, gumagano. Hindi ko na ba magkitin yung pangalan na, pero ako may kilala akong player. Nung nagsimula na ito ng nila, di, alam niya, alam niya, pag, alam niya pag yung camera nasa kanya, bigla ang gagano, no? Oh, <laughs> I mean, na papabi eh. Kilala mo yun, Kenneth? Kilala mo ba yun, Kenneth? Kilala mo yun, Kenneth? Idol natin lahat yun, mga ganun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kilala mo yan, Kenneth. Si- Kilala mo. But that's a good may question, story. ha? Good question yun. May story ako dyan. May nagkwento sa akin ako bakit ko ba ganun. <laughs> Secret lang. Wait, kilala to. May smoke <laughs> hair gel. Sige, sige, sige. Naging ano, naging player niya sa Hinebra. And then, naging teammate ko sa Alaska. Joey Loisaga. <laughs> Are you okay? Hi. My name na kagad. Problem Hi, solved. Joey! <laughs> diba? Hi, Joey! Gunchu. Pa, diba? Pag- Gunchu. 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 Mga ganun, no? Nagkwento sa akin yan. Nagkwento sa akin yung ganun-ganun. Mga ganun. Pero, secret yun, secret. Ma- ma- <laughs> ano, malalim. Kung <laughs> <laughs> so, kailangan ngayon, i-guess si Joey. <laughs> 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 I-guess si Joey. 
Joey, ano yung kanun? Uh-huh. Ay, sponsor ka ba? <laughs> Jill. Itetest mo mamaya sa'yo, eh, buyet. Eh, buyet. Itetest mo mamaya sa'yo kung ano yun. Ay, tatawa. Oh my God. Itatawa ko, pa. itatawa ko para safe. <laughs> alam mo, alam mo, alam, mukhang alam ko kung ano ginagamit ni Joey na product sa buhok niya nun eh. Mukhang alam ko yung, alam ko yung, alam ko yung tatak nun eh. Mukhang alam ko eh. Start Pero hindi sponsored. Oo, oh, hindi, hindi, hindi. Wala pa nun kasi. Wala pang wax nun eh. Wala pang wax nun eh. Wala pa. Okay, okay, okay. Hindi pa uso wax nun. Dalawa lang ang pinapahid mo sa buhok mo. Pumada. Okay. Pumada. Okay, pumada. As in, flowers, tancho. Yun. Eh, yun pa na, tan- may, may tancho pa nun eh. Or, in the ninth, uh, ano to, mga ano na to, Kenneth, mga 80s, no? 80s ba to? 80s yan, di ba? Gel. Yung mga first, first permutations of the gel. Walang gel na hindi makintab. <laughs> Kaya alam mo, yung player, pag naglalagay ng produkto sa buho, alam mo yun. Tapos pag pinagpapawisan, yung tuwalya, hindi dumadapo sa, sa buhok yun. Dito lang sa noo. <laughs> Ganon-ganon lang yun. Oh, Pero yan. hindi man na. Masisira yung hook mo eh. Pero hindi man masisira sa ano yun? Sa... Wala, wala diferensya yun. Importante, <laughs> ayos yung hook mo. Kailangan ayos yung hook mo. Kasi kita Pero may... na nangyari eh. Pero may idea ka ba kung bakit gano'n? Wala. Ginagano'n wala. O oh, sige, kwento mo na. Wala. 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 Dahil ba yan? Dahil ba yan? Kasi girl pa rin na niya si itatago natin sa initials na letter G at letter B. B. Mukhang confirm Papa B based on the reaction. Mukhang yun na yun eh, di ba? O anyway. O anyway, take a break. Balik sa yun. Ano na tayo? Ba- o, kinukunan ka ng camera as a collegiate basketball may camera kaya nito no remdes. Ano pa kaya ramdam mo nun? Wala, wala akong ano. Parang hindi ako nakoconscious. Mm-hmm. Parang sa akin, na, na, nakafocus ako sa basketball. Ah. Wala, kahit, kahit walang, kahit na, ah. kahit na minsan nakafocus sa'yo, as in wala, hindi ako nakoconscious. Wala akong ginagawang extra movement na unusual sa akin. Normal lang. Ang ang feeling ko noon, may cameraman o wala, yun pa rin yung nakasanayan ko na yung paglalaro ko dito na walang camera. Focus so, nagkaroon ng camera, wala akong ano, oh, wala. Kasi siyempre, una-una, probinsyano ka eh. So, <laughs> pag, may cam- pag may camera, noon nga, pag may mga interviews eh, Medyo nagtatago pa tayo noon dahil uh, un- unang, sa- unang sampa natin sa-, sa Manila. Ang hirap. Oo, oh, mahirap. So, but, yun but, yun. Parang uh, but uh, together with that, no, Kenny, together with that, was was playing in a in a uh, in, 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 in Manila such a big culture shock for you. Mm-hmm. Was it, uh-huh. yeah. did, 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 you know, did, 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 did it uh, Tama. Like Tama. culture shock ka, no? Ganun. Culture shock. Alam niyo bakit? Dahil merong discrimination. Oh, oh really? It's, 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 uh, yes. Uh, that's the reality from pag taga-probinsya ka, iba ang trato sa'yo. Iba ang okay. trato ng mga ka-teammates mo, yung mga kasabay mo sa tryouts. Uh, parang ang feeling nila, uh, you don't belong here sa big city. Provinsyano ka lang. Mm-hmm. Parang you have to prove us na eh, mas magaling kami. Feeling nila talaga angat sila. Uh, so, kami nila kami. Ikaw, taga-probinsya ka eh. Yeah, no, eh, bisaya ka eh. Kinakain mo, mais eh. Parang gano'n eh. Mais oh. ka lang. Ganito, ganyan. Parang ma- marami. Verbal lahat and physical. Uh-huh. Na-experience natin yan. Uh-huh. So that uh, adds uh, something uh, to me na mamotivate lalo. Dahil kailangan ipakita mo sa kanila na mas magaling ka. Kasi pag hindi, hindi ka nila respetuhin. Wow. Yan ang lesson. Yes. If I, if I can add, I think, centro ka in hmm. the province, tapos legend ka, then nag-transition ka right away to wing? Tama ba yan? Yes. Yes. Kamusta yung oh. transition? Normally, players struggle eh. From center pa baba. Yung baliktad, no problem. Like Anthony Davis. Pero for you, kamusta yung transition? Yeah. since successful naging decorated player ka um 
through hard work lang. No? Kaya nakuha ko, naging successful ako dahil uh, I have to do it. I have no choice. Mm-hmm. Buti nga, doon ako na nakarating sa, doon ako pumasok sa Adams, so may mga giants eh. What if kum- pumasok ko doon sa school na ako na malaki? Yeah. Eh di napilitan ako mag-centro all the way. Mm-hmm. So, hindi magbabago, hindi mag-change yung tingin ko sa basketball. So, kailangan mag-shift ako right away. So, dahil bata pa ako noon, uh, unang sampa ko sa Manila, uh, right after my graduation sa high school. 16 years old na ako noon eh. So, so wala, wala akong kamag-anak nandun. Uh, so, sikap lang and pinroove ko talaga dahil uh, kailangan talaga siya. Dahil uh, hanggang ngayon, yung parang minsan nagpa-flashback sa akin na uh, sabi ko, uh, yung mga times na pala yun, during those times, kung bumigay ako, wala akong kamag-anak, nabubugbog sa sa Training. practice uh, physically and verbally eh kung may naloob ko umuwi na ako eh bumalik na ako dito sa practice mm-hmm. sino nga Pero, ba coach? sino nga ba coach sa Adamson during that time that you were there ah uh, itong maganda dahil sa 4 years ko sa Adamson apat din ang coach ko kaya nga <laughs> kaya tinanong ko yun eh kaya tinanong ko yun eh 1 to 1 apat na coach four to four. sa Adamson during the 4 years 4 years different coaches Yes. Different coaches. So system oh, every year. How was that, no? Oh, oh, ngayon, adjustment in terms of your playing style. Sino good eh? Let, 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 let's, uh, Kenneth, sino-sino muna yung mga coach na yun? Who were they? Who uh, were ang they? first coach ko na inabutan doon, si Boy Asque. Si Boy Asque. On my first year. On my second year, pinalitan siya ni uh, Orly Bauzon. Okay, okay, I know Orly. Yeah, I know Orly. Uh, and then, on my uh, third year, uh, I don't know. Asque, Ginto, Bauzon, Hipolito. Wow! Si Skip! Si Sir mm-hmm. Skip! Si Skip. Wow. si Skip, yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. for you children, if you do not know the name Leonardo Skip Ginto, Google it. Yes. <laughs> Sige, Papa. Sige. Ginto, <laughs> Google ko. Skip Ginto is a legend. I mean, legend. In, in, the, in, mm-hmm. the, in the truest sense of the world. Leonardo Skip Ginto is a legend. And, and yes. I'm happy that you mentioned him mm. because even yeah. Orly Bauzon, para sa inyong mga... I know Orly. I know Orly. Okay, you know Orly. Yeah, I know. But Olympian know. yan. Oh, Olymp- yeah. Olympian yan si Orly. Olympian yan si Orly. 68 yan. 68 Mexico yan. Mm. Yeah. 68 Mexico. Olympian. Batu- Batulis mm. na lang si Icon yan. Uh, <laughs> ano yan? Nangaap- nangaapak ng paan ng kalaban yan. Oo. Oh, oh. wow. yan, yan ang mga style niya. Nangaapak ng paan ng kalaban yan. Hindi ka makakatanong yan pag, pag, na, ano, pag nasimple ang kanyan. But how was that? Just to continue uh, uh, yeah. to just question. Four coaches in, in four years, four years. you say, in, in, in Adamson, how, how, how were you able to cope? I mean, four different mm-hmm. uh, yeah, philosophies. Styles. No? Baka mawala yung spot mo pa depending on the coach. Correct. No. Oo. Tama. Yeah. Um... Yes, ang naging advantage ko lang siguro noon dahil uh, uh, nababakapan pa ako ni, uh, ni Mang Angel noon, patrimonyo. Mm. So, pag pumalit ng coach, hindi ako natatanggal. And then, until such time na nung ika third year ko na, uh, nakuha ko sa national team. So, baga nagiging uh, asset na ako ng school tapos nung pinalitan ng coach, Siyempre, mas kailangan na nila kami. Mas kailangan na ako dahil nandun ako sa national team. So, naswerte rin dahil yun yung tingin ko sa akin, yung pinaka-stepping stone ko sa sa basketball is yung nakuha ko ng 1992 youth team. Yun siya. Doon nag-start lahat. After that, all the way up na siya until nung nag-94, bago ako magpa-draft sa PBA, kinuha rin ako ni Norman Black for the national team, kasama yung mga pros, dalawa lang kami ni Marlong Amateur. Uh-oh. So, tuloy-tuloy oh, yeah, na siya. Uh, tuloy-tuloy na siya. So, yun yung pinaka ano, start ng lahat ng career ko 1992. Tapos nag-PBL ka nun, di ba? Nag- Burger Machine Cup? Burger Machine ba yun? Yes. Yeah. Uh, ni- uh. 19, yun nga story sa sa Burger Machine ko nung 1992, ano sa Beijing, China kami. So, habang nagliliga kami doon, nagkakaroon ng drafting sa Pilipinas sa PBL. Okay. May drafting ng 93. <laughs> habang nas- uh, na, oh, habang naglalaro sila sa Beijing, nagkakapalitan na ng pera. Nagkakano na dito sa sa, sa Manila. Okay. So, uh, 
ang coach ba uh, that time sa Bergamas din si Chot Reyes. As, naging And, coach mo si Chot Reyes? A, a very young wow. coach. Man. Early coaching career. Coach. Assistant na siya uh, nun kay Coach Tim Condit. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Okay, 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 okay. Wala okay. pa. Wala okay. pa. Wow, naging so, coach. These, these were the first forays of Chot. As head coach. Okay. So, yes. Burger Machine. Okay. Burger Machine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, dumating siya sa drafting. Siya mismo nagkwento sa akin. Dumating siya sa drafting day dun sa anong hotel yun. Hindi ko na maalala. Nagalit siya dun sa manager niya. Kasi second round na, hindi pa ako napipick. <laughs> <laughs> Available pa yung pangalan ko sa drafting. Wow. Nag-slide pala. Sabi oh, sabi niya, pati pa na. Pati yung pakinukuha. Hindi pa kinukuha. So, ang alam ko nun, ang number one pick nun, si Ruel Bravo. Ruel Bravo. Number yeah, one. okay. Ah, oh, yung time namin. So, nagulat si Chot. And then, nakita pa niyong pangalan ko, available pa. So, nung kinuha niya ako, uh, after nung tournament sa China, dumiretso na ako sa practice ng Burger Machine. And then... Uh, okay. Y- 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 Noel, sinakilala ko sa team. Ay, siya na rin oh. nagbigay sa akin ng number 19, actually. Ah, really? So, ano, sa Burger Machine ka nagsimula mag number 19? Burger Machine. Si Burger Chot, machine. pagdating ko ng practice, may jersey na ako, may 19 na, sabi ko, eh, hindi ko nabibitawan to. Ah, okay. Given, okay. Na, given, given na kasi. So, given assigned. na sa'yo given na siya. Oh, sorry, uh-huh. parang yan ang style talaga before assigned yung numbers to players. Assigned. Yes. Pero sa Ay, amateur kasi yes. noon, sa mga national team, hindi ka pwedeng mamili ng number. Oh, It starts with 4. Hanggang 15, 4 uh, to 15. Yes. Oh. Oh. captain normally is number 4. Four. The captain yes. is always yes. number 4. Number four. Yeah. Yes, number 4. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. May konting comments lang. Ayan, good comments good evening to you daw, Captain Marbel from Pat Mendoza, Gab Ferreras, and Ryan Pajaro. And good evening din daw to Papa B, sabi ni... Uh, uh, ano, ano lang ako dito ha? Tandaan nyo, ano lang ako, saling pusa <laughs> lang ako kayo okay. dito ha? <laughs> Ikaw star player, Papa B, kasama <laughs> ni Captain Marbel. Saling Marble. pusa lang ako dito. Yes. May one question from Pat kay Captain Marbel. Yung hardest player to guard nung UAAP. Then, siguro, transition tayo to PBA. Oh, parang ito. Ito, yes. ba- ano, professional career. You up, you up, Captain Marbel. Sino pinakapatulong sa skito? <laughs> Nako. Ang hirap bantay nung araw nung college siya, no? Si uh, Johnny Abariantos, of course. Oh, gosh, yeah. Legend. Oh, uh, Nag-abot. Hirap F-E-U. talaga ba yan? Johnny. F-E-U. Uh-huh. Ma- F-E-U. Uh-huh. Ang hirap bantay ni Johnny noon. Lalo na nung college days niya. Napakabilis siya. Napakabilis. PD wow. talaga. Para kumakain na isang sakong maisa, no? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. Oh, at that time, Johnny was just so... F- Oops, I almost said the effort. Uh, <laughs> you can say it. It's okay. He was just so quick. No, during during your college days, Kenneth. Sino sino yung mga player na hanggang ngayon eh ikaw nga eh nagre-resonate sa ulo mo. Yung mga player na talagang hindi mo makalimutan. Sino sino tong mga to? Yung kapanahunan mo. Ah, uh, naabutan ko nung college sila Jun Limpot. No, oh, Jun Limpot. Was, okay. Was so unstoppable during college days. Oh, uh, yung Nestor Echano napakagaling nung college noon. Oh, magaling 'yun. Nestor Echano, yeah. napakagaling noon. Yeah. And then sila naabutan ko sila Bong Ravena, 'yun yung mga stars ng UAP na nung pumasok yeah. ako. Uh-huh. UAP. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Eh, di, eh, so, eh, yun yun sila. Hindi eh, nagabot ba kayo ni ni Al Francis? Al Francis Chua, hindi na. Uh-huh. Naglaro ba si Al Francis? Oh, yeah. Okay. UST, UST. UST. Ayun, there, there. UST. Yes. Uh-huh. UST. With this uh, Bruce Lee haircut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, so, uh, so during your uh, time sa, di ba, high school, let's go back na sa South Cotabato province, Adam, saan na ba nag-recruit sa'yo? Wala na bang iba? Good question. I like that. Or baka buong uh, UNC. Oh, kaya ako, kaya ako napunta ng Adamson dahil uh, yung kapatid ni Alvin, si Allen, Challenge. Uh, Junior varsity ng Adamson. Junior okay. varsity siya. Right, 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 uh, right, right, right. So, doon ako dinala ni Mang Angel para sa pag-monitor niya, yung mga pag-ano niya at uh, guidance sa akin. Eh, isa na lang. Pag pupunta siya ng practice ni Allen, nabibisita niya rin ako. Every day. Ah, okay. So, no other, no other universities, no? 
Wala. Doon lang Wala. talaga niyo ako dinala. From province straight to Adamson. Okay, okay. Here is a pointed question. Had you had the choice? Ah, <laughs> controversy. Ah, controversy. Kung ikaw ang papipiliin, uh, Kenneth Duremdes. Uy, nakiti si Grillo ko. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ikaw papipiliin, Kenneth Duremdes. Meron ka bang eskwelahan na gustong mm. from the province eh, sa, sa ulo mo or sa puso mo? Gusto ko pag ako nag, nabigyan ng pagkakataon mapunta sa Manila, gusto ko dito ako mag-aaral. Was there a, a school that you uh, envisioned yourself of going to and playing for? Actually, wala. Kasi hmm. ang probinsya talaga namin sa balita, walang nakukuha. Eh. Kung ano mga best schools sa Manila, ano ang number one doon sa sports and ano sa academics, hmm. wala siya. As in, napaka-behind namin dito sa probinsya nung time na yon. Hmm. So, nung na-mention lang ni Mga Angel sa akin na, o, oh, dadalang kita sa Adamson. Sabi ko, Adamson. O, sige. Saan yun? <laughs> Adamson. O, sige po. Saan okay. yun? Hindi ba yung so, question? Saan yun? <laughs> so, Basta Manila is Manila. Basta Manila, Manila is Manila. Manila is Manila. Oh, parang Liga. big deal sa amin nun. Parang ang mga tao din doon nun, uh, high hopes sila sa akin. Mm. Uh, they're expecting na uh, ay ito, dinala na sa Manila, sana mag, maging successful to dahil pride natin to. Yeah. So, ang pressure sa akin doon matindi. So, every time na may mga balita sa akin, ang mga kababayan ko dito na excited sila. So, full support. Baga, parang may inaabangan sila laging balita kung ano na ba nangyayari doon sa bata na kinuha dito ni Mga Ngel. Kung gumagaling na ba and uh, unti-unti nababasa na sa dyaryo sa radio yeah, wala pang wala social pang media nun no? wala pang wala, social wala, media wala, <laughs> wala, wala pa snail mail wala, wala, wala. wala. Pero, pero, pero pero may pager na nun may pager na ah okay okay may pager na nun may pager na si Kenneth Doremdes nun Binigin so naalala ko nung college siya uh, yung yung TV nun weekend lang eh delayed pa hindi siya live ah in the province oh. sa, Hindi, dito sa Manila. Ang Ay, oh, UAP. Oo, oh, 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 yeah. Saturday, oh, Sunday UAP. lang. Oo, oh, oh, tama, tama. Sa- Sunday lang ang ano ng, uh, ng uh, Silver Star. Tama. Silver Sunday Star. Lang, Silver Star. Silver Star yun. Oh. Oh. Ano yun? Kapanahunan na na, kapanahunan ng taong, kapanahunan na yun ng tao itatago natin sa pangalan Jimmy Javier. Jimmy. Ah, oh, uh, Wacky Trillo. Oh, Jimmy Javier. Oh, Wacky Trillo. Jimmy Javier yun. Oh. Yan. Wala pa wala pa wala pa doon yung taong itatago natin sa pangalan ng Bill Velasco. Wala pa siya doon. Wala. <laughs> wala pa. Oh, ay tiwala sa PBA na si Bill noon eh. Anyway. Okay. So yun, okay, so nasa Burger Machine, you played Burger Machine tapos 1994 nagpa-draft ka na. Mm-hmm. Yeah. May nagligo uh, sa the, the following year, 1995. 95 nagpa nagpa listed ka for draft. May nag may nag recruit na sa iyo noon. Sun kiss mismo uh, nung, or iba? Nung nag-declare na ako ng 1995 for drafting, pinatawag ako agad ng Swift. Okay. Nainteresado sila, Swift. So, eventually, doon talaga ako bumagsak sa kanila as third pick overall. Sino first pick noong time na eh? yun? Uh, Espino EJ File. Espino EJ wow. yun. Tapos Ken. Uh, es- es- Espino Santa Lucia EJ Nebra. Hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Mga cornerstones talaga. Tapos ang ang swift ng coach nun, si Yeng? Si Yeng Giao. Ah, inabutan ko si Derek na. Ah, si Derek na! Si ah, Manong okay. na! Okay. Manong Derek. Manong Derek na. Si Manong. Manong. Si Manong. Uh, so, team, uh, teammates mo nun was yun ah? Ah, Verel Meneses. Oh, the aerial coach. Meneses na siya ito, no? Oh. Uh, Ay, Boy, Victoria. Boy, oh, oh. Solid yung team na yun. Solid, solid yung team na yun. Rudy Distrito. Oh. Al Solis. Oh. Yoyoy Villamin. Wow. <laughs> balingit <laughs> din. Bonel, balingit. Bonel, balingit. balingit. Oh, what I'm reading. <laughs> solid at all positions. Oh, solid yeah. on all positions. Yung Alam mo, yung, 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 uh, nung, nung dumating ka doon, of course, you were not a starter kagad because nga of the depth of the roster. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Who among the players on your first year with Swift? Sino doon ang player na talagang binabantayan mo? Si tinitingnan mo, pinag-aaralan mo kung paano gumalaw. Who among sa training or sa, sa PBA? Well, 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 not with the PBA. Inside the team. 
who was the player ah, that you uh, were? You know, you binabante eh, mo tinitingnan mo na parang ay ah, to totoo ko ito gusto ko gusto ko gusto ko tong teammate ko na to ang ang binabantayan ko doon araw-araw nung nasa Sanke sa kanila si Rudy Distrito aray <laughs> Aray! <laughs> hindi, hindi ko bina, hindi ko binamatay yung mga moves ni Laverel, mga power play ni Nelson, mga three-point shots ni Boy Beats, kundi yung ilag ko kay Rudy kasi araw-araw ang dami kong pasa. <laughs> <laughs> ang dami kong tama everyday as in everyday kasi pareho kaming wing eh. Oh. So, oh, hindi naman tinatapat ni Manong Derek si Rudy kay Verrell. Baka, baka pasakta oh. ng superstar Masa nga. Masa ba So, eh. oh. So, yung training ground ko everyday si Rudy Distrito. Aray. Oh. Ang dami po. Ang dami po. Ang dami po palang. Kinakwento ko yan. Pinayaman mo pala sa lompas. No, no, no? Pinayaman uh, mo sa lompas. Saka Omega <laughs> Pinto. Yun. Mo, oh, pinayaman uh-huh. mo siya. Everyday yun. Everyday. Parang sabi ko, ko dami ko nung pwedeng bantayan ba si Rudy lagi. <laughs> hindi ka napikon. <laughs> hindi ka napikon. Oh, hindi ka napikon. O na-injure. Iba ang... Iba ang kultura ng basketball ng 90s. Okay. Pag malambot ka, lalo ka, nilang, lalo ka nilang titirahin. Pag malambot ka, pag nakikita ka nilang umaayaw, umaaray-aray ka dyan, nagdadrama-drama ka dyan, lalo, lang kawa, lalo kang kawawa sa mga veterano. Lesson yan. Kaya kahit na masakit ka, titiisin mo para tumigil sila. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. Yes. 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 Yan, ang, yan ang culture na ng 90s kasi inabutan ko talaga yun yung, yung mga... No blood, no foul. No harm, no foul. Nabutang okay. kaya lahat. Oh, yeah. Mabigat. That was fun. That was fun to watch. <laughs> Ako, that was fun to watch. <laughs> fun to watch. Fun. Hard to play in, siguro. Oh, hard to play, pero fun to watch. Yama yeah, din lang na masakit sa katawan, no? As a play. Every day. Sa, pra- diba? sa practice namin, every day, may away, may suntukan. Ha? Sa practice yan. <laughs> Kwentoan yes. mo kami. Sige, kwentoan mo kami. Give us a nickname. Game, game. Away yan. <laughs> yan away yan. Ah, kaya kami ng champion nung 1995 5, may rookie year ng first conference all Filipino game 7 tinalo namin ng Alaska ng overtime dun sa game tying ni Verrell na 3 points uh-huh. day, day before the uh, day before the game ng game 7 nagsuntukan si Teroy Alvarillo tsaka si Boy Beach Victoria dahil napaka-tense na ng training <laughs> si Teroy tsaka si Boy Beach Teroy Boy Beach dahil wow. ano na eh maano na eh tensionado na lahat dahil game 7 eh Uh, 3-3 ang series eh. Suntukan uh, yan. As in, ano, lagi yan. Hindi yan namawala sa practice. Dahil uh, dati nga, pag malambot yun, mas lalo kang kawawain eh. Kailan pakita mo na matibay ka. <laughs> wow. and, and, and just to give wow. a, a certain uh, sidebar to this. It was at that time, we're in, we're in the league. Ha? I'm talking about the league now. Teams were not really chummy-chummy. Yeah! Magkagalit. Diba? Ibang team ka. Ibang team ka. Mm. Magkaaway tayo. Magkaaway tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi katulad ngayon. Magkaaway ngayon tayo. kasi friends, friends, nagme-message on Instagram, uh, okay. Facebook uh, Messenger. Uh, ngayon, sa loob ng court, pati sa labas, magkaaway tayo. Aha, uh-huh, magkaaway. Ay sabi mo, Totoo magkatabi yan. na kayo. Magkatabi na kayo sa... Oh, say, nakalinya kayo sa... Jal, bibili kayo ng hamburger. <laughs> nakalinya kayo sa fast food. Ni, hindi kayo magbabati, ha? <laughs> Tipong ganun. Am I right, Ken? And, Yes, and ang rivalries noon matindi. Pag yun. natatalo kami noon sa natatalo kami sa Pure Foods noon dahil parang may chicken business yun eh. Oo, oh, parang manok yun eh. Yung, oh. yung Magnolia, <laughs> may Magnolia si oh. Swift and uh, Pure Foods. Oh. Pag natalo kami noon, asaan mo, the following day, market visit ng mga players. Yan ang parusa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ikot kayo sa mga supermarket. Ikot kayo. Ikot kayo. So, pwede, Ikar kayo sa mga supermatch sa palengke. Pangit pwede palengke competing palengke brands nun, unlike today. Kaya nga. Eh. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Y- yun nga ang maganda nun eh. Yun ang maganda. Matalo ka na sa ibang teams, wag lang sa, ano, sa McDonald's or Pure Foods. Yan yung so, rivalry. Nice uh, basis to be honest. Yes. Uh, Yan ang so, rivalry. Mm-hmm. So, Kenneth, so you, were, you came in the hardest place Uh, the, the physical time of the PBA. Sino nag unang unang nag hello sa yo or nagbigay sa yo na welcome, oh, welcome to, to the, the PBA. PBA. No, 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 no. We have to qual- we have to qualify that. Okay. Because when you say giving the hello is a different <laughs> thing in basket professional basketball. Ah well yeah okay. But when you say 
Welcome <laughs> at the back, Ibasalgon brother. Welcome to the big league. O sige, sabi mo sa akin, sabi mo sa amin yung pareho, yung unang nag quote and quote, binigyan ka. Tayo so, actual na. Hello Kenneth, welcome. Tamang tama, yan talaga. Yan yung linya. Alam mo bakit yung first game ko sa sa PBA sa Coneta Astrodome yon against Ginebra. Oh, patay kang bata. Rigo! <laughs> Sakit ka agad! Versus the entire Philippines. <laughs> against Ginebra. Uh, against Ginebra. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Klaro, then, at that time, uh, at that time, uh, Ginebra was not the entire Philippines. Hindi pa. Okay. okay. <laughs> diba, diba, Kenneth? Hindi pa. Uh-huh. Hindi pa the entire Philippines in Ginebra noon. Hindi Pero... Pa. Grabe yun. As in, makakatikim ka na ng mga malulutong noon. And, yan ang experience ko mismo. Narinig ko yung linya mo. So, so si the uh-huh. Philippine uh-huh. unang nagbigay ng malutong. Eto. Eh, di off the bench ako. Pumasok na ako. Nakatayo na ako dun sa scorer's table. And, the legend, Robert Jaworski, nakatayo. Okay? Nakaganyan. And then, Medyo lumapit sa akin. Sabay lingon kay Rino La Salazar. Sabi niya, Rino, balita ako, magaling daw to, ipasok mo ko. <laughs> oh my God, sabi ko. Oh my God, eto na. So, pagpa- pagpasok ko, eto na, maya-maya. Pumapasok, eh, pasok si Robert Jaworski. Coach Robert. Lumapit ka agad sa akin. Hindi pa na inbound yung bola. Lumapit, tas yung dumikit. Isang suntok lang sa tagiliran. Welcome Tapos, sabi, to the PBA. Sabi, sabi sa akin, bata, welcome to the PBA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> magaling daw eh, sabi niya. Wow, wow. Magaling. Balita wow. ko, magaling daw to eh. Rino, pasok mo ako. Sabi ko, patay ako. Talagang galing. Galing mag war And yun lang talaga eh. Ano lang, isang ganun lang. Tapos, welcome to the PBA. Wow. <laughs> Sarap! I love that story. I, do- I love that. Gusto ko yung mo- gusto ko yung moment na yon. Gusto ko yung moment na yon. You'll cherish that. Yun. Oh, oh. Yes. You'll cherish Kira that. Big J. Oh. Kumbaga, yung isang jo- Robert Jaworski na caught me yung attention niya. Yeah. In acknowledge ka. Yes. Oh, oh. In acknowledge ka. In acknowledge oh. kanya. Hindi naman niya ginawa sa ibang players yon. Kasi wala oh. nagkuk kwento eh. Wala na kwento sa rookie rookie batch namin. Wala na kwento noon. Ako lang ng kwento noon. Ako lang pinadaanan niya ng ganun. Ko binigyan. <laughs> Kasi nabe mm-hmm. ba eh, magaling daw to. So alam niya. So he nga, he heard your 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 skills and talents already. He knows, Tapos, he knows yeah. of your legend as well. So ah, oh, ganun yeah. ah. Magaling ka. Oh sige. Magaling ka. Irigalo ka sa akin. <laughs> Ito sa iyo. <laughs> May, may ginanyan ka ba? Ikaw mismo sa about rookies? Uh-uh. Wala. J- Jaworski lang pwede gumawa nun. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> o, wala konting siko. Wala. Ikaw wala, as veteran, wala. wala, wala. Nice guy. <laughs> Jaworski lang gagawa nun. About yung real welcome? Baka may teammate dyan. Um, just yung second question ni Papa B. Yung real welcome. Uh, sa, 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 sa practice, walang ganun. Wala siyang ganun. Pero ang ang training talaga, ang practice talaga, everyday, napaka-physical. Napaka-physical talaga siya. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, sasabihin sa'yo ng, uh, ng veterano talaga, just the likes of uh, Villamin, Al Solis, and Ay! Rudy Distrito. Uh, sasabihin nila, bata, wag ka lalambot-lambot dito. Hindi ka pwede sa PBA. Wow. Ganun talaga lagi sinasabi, araw-araw yon Wag ka lang lalambot-lambot. Eh, ang payat ko pa noon. Oh. Um, ano ka dito? Hindi ka pwede sa PBA pag malambot ka. So, ewan ko kung yan pa rin ang mga ginagamit ng mga veterano ngayon sa mga young guns. Pero nung time namin, lagi ko naririnig yan. Bata, huwag kang lalambot-lambot. Hindi ka pwede dito sa PBA. Okay. That's true though. That's true. <laughs> so, parang naging advice, you can say. Yeah, yeah. Na- naging advice. Naging advice. Now, you have to be you know, prepared. <laughs> I love the stories. I yeah. love the stories. So, yes. So from there, how how ilang years ka sa Swift? Nagpakalbo kayo noon? Uh, Kasi yung time na magpakalbo kayo, hindi. Kay, hindi ko inabutan yun. kay Yengyo yun. Ah, uh, hindi ko na inabutan yun. Okay. Oo, iba yun. So two, two, parang two and a half years lang ako sa Sankis noon. Then I was traded to Alaska na. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, ito. Okay. okay. Alam mo, uh, we This actually one. want to to save that Alaska story. 
uh, but 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 anyway, I'm not the main host here. Why am I doing this? No, uh, pwede na, pwede na, pwede na. <laughs> Papa B, ikaw yung import, ikaw yung import oh, ikaw natin. Import natin but, but, but before we but before we go to your Alaska years, was it was it a shock to you that that uh, eventually? I mean, you know, for for somebody in the province, you, your first team was Swift, and now you'll be traded. How did it feel that you will be that you will be transferred? to another team. Hindi ba parang, I mean, you know, hindi ba parang mabigat sa loob mo? Teka muna, eh, akala ko dito na ako habang buhay or alam mo na sa utak mo na eventually there'll be, it's a business. I mean, you know, you're a professional. That's how it goes. Yeah. Did you, did you, uh, was it already uh, in your mindset that, okay, this is the professional leagues. I might have to be transferred somewhere, somewhere along my, uh, along the way. Um, ang naisip ko nun is, uh, Dadating yung time ko. Kasi nangyari sa akin sa Adamson, you know, first two years, hindi masyado akong ginamit. Maybe raw, bata mm. pa, and di pa sanay sa larong Manila. Mm. And then, nung nag-pro ako, same pa rin siya. Parang pa, naka-pattern. Sabi ko, pagdating ko dito, star ako sa amateur, pero sa pro, mm. hindi. So, I have to take my time. I have mm. to, again, uh, develop more my skills. And kailangan paglabanan ko yung slots na to. Pero, every day, uh, na nangyayari, narinig ko sa mga tao na sabi na, pag dyan ka, hindi ka gagaling kasi nandang si Burel, nandang sila Al Solis. Masikip uh, yung Pero sa ibang, teams, uh, sa ibang teams, magag- magagamit ka doon. Parang gano'n. So, sa kabaitan naman ni Mr. Yanga, nung mga after two years po na, parang na-feel niya na hindi nga ako mag-grow. Dahil yun yung pick ni Burel eh. Burel is Burel during those times. Yeah, 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 Walang yeah. makakatalo kay Burel. Mm. So parang na-realize na, na mas sayang ang talent ko. Doon lang din ako. So napakabait ng ano ng uh, conception franchise specialist in Storyanga. Dahil uh, hindi nila ako binigay doon sa team na alam nila na hindi ako mag-grow. Binigay nila ako sa team na alam nila na magiging successful ang career ko which is Alaska. Yeah. Alaska man. <laughs> Sabi nga nila. Mm. Yeah, and then, and you were traded after their Grand Slam year, no? You were uh, traded to Alaska. Yes, after? yes. Yeah. Ninety six sila na trade ako ninety seven last conference. Last conference. So there was a lot of pressure on you, knowing that oh, coming from a Grand Slam. Coming from a Grand Slam team, kailangan. Here, here I am, oh. a newcomer into oh. a Grand into a Grand Slam team. How was that, Ken? Um, Ang feel ko noon is uh, parang wala naman siyang pressure dahil alam ko itong team na to, it's a winning team. May winning tradition. Yan. And nakikita mo every day uh, Jolas, Johnny, Bong Hawkins. Oh, hindi sila nagpapabaya. Sean Chambers, pagdating ko ng Sean Chambers, parang why are you sitting? Get your ass there. Work out. Red meal. Extra. Sabi ko, iba, ibang kultura dito. Sabi ko, iba na naman. <laughs> Yeah. So, eh, si Jolas, pag nakita niya na kahit na hindi pa ka oras ng practice, naka, nakahilata ka lang doon sa couch. Talagang, he will call your attention. Libre ang ano doon, ang treadmill gamitin mo. Oh. So, kasi sila, ginagawa nila eh. Hindi yung utusan ka nila, tapos sila nakaupo, hindi. Mm-hmm. Nagsaset sila ng examples doon sa mga new members nila. So, ikaw mismo, makikita mo, may iya ka na, o ito, yeah, mga veterano, ah, Ang gagaling na nito pero nag extra pa. So sasabay ka talaga. That's why okay. ang, ang Alaska talaga pag uh, winning tradition nag start sa sa training, sa practice. Doon talaga nabubulat. How how Hindi how was, No, how was really I mean, you know, now that now that they're in the news at the moment, <laughs> Kenneth. And everybody's been talking about how uh Fred Oitens, who has a 24-year-old, was tasked to form a, a professional basketball team, etc., etc. Uh, and you being the newbie in 97 after a Grand Slam. Uh, did, you, did you instantly feel that, that, that professionalism within the organization? We're not, talking about, we're, we're, not, we're not talking here about players, coaches, no. And we're talking about the organization in general. The organization to the highest level. Wow. Yung professionalism. Yung talaga ang nakita ko kaagad. Dahil siguro sa binil talaga ni Boss Fred yan. 
kung anong sistema, kung paano nyo patatakbuhin. Imagine, yung mga players, syempre, minsan yung mga players, uh, nagko-complain yan eh, dahil nga sa stress, sa hard practice. Pero at the end of the day, magtatrabaho lahat. So yun ang nakikita ko. Sabi ko, siguro sa ano to, sa management. Hmm. Mm, sa management. So, pagdating ng Alaska, sabi ko, eh, iba dito dahil, alam mo yun, yung, yung hindi lang yung family ang tinitingnan din nila. Uh, they want to be sure na fit ka sa system nila and doon sa organization. Hindi sila basta-basta kukuha ng player na kahit magaling ka, pero hindi ka mag-fit doon sa organization nila. Tested and proven yan. So, yan ang Alaska na yung 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 organization na napakaganda dahil uh, magandang binuong foundation ni Boss Fred yan nag-invest and, yan and, and and this were the years your years in Alaska gave you that moniker that's yes that yeah. when that moniker came to life and then MVP you were also MVP in uh, yes, Alaska yes dahil yeah. uh, dahil uh, pagdating ko na 97 Three straight conferences kagad nag-champion kami with Alaska. Going into Grand Slam. Mm. Okay, Going yeah. into Grand Slam na kami nung 98, sinacrifice ni, yeah. ni Boss Fred yung, yung chance namin mag-Grand Slam dahil pinahiram niya kami sa national team. Jolas, Johnny, and myself. So, nawalan, kami, nawalan ng key players ang Alaska noon for third conference. So, kaya hindi nag-Grand Slam. This was the Centennial team? The Centennial team. No, that was 98 in the okay. This was the same. Uh, so it was uh, the yeah. best year. Yeah, yeah. so um, yeah. So that shows the professionalism of uh, no, no, of uh, Sir Fred Pingsu that he rather than choosing the Alaska getting another second grand slam, you know, he yep. chose country. He chose country. And walang conditions yon. Wala yon. Basta sabi niya, for the national team, my best players, they can play. So, even yung coach, Tim Cohn, kasama yes. doon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's my next question. How was it playing under the winningest coach now? Of course, he wasn't really the winningest coach then. Playing under coach Tim Cohn. The triangle offense was still new, I think, mm. in the Philippines right. at that time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iba. Iba ang triangle offense, you know, nung na-introduce na team kong yan. Pero it took him also years to develop that. Dahil kailangan niyang maghanap ng players na fit doon eh. Hindi niya kailangan ng players na super, na napakagaling, na hindi naman magpa-fit sa system. So, dinevelop din nila yan. Lahat, personalities, tinitingnan nila yan. Attitudes. And then your skills mo kung pasok ka nga ba doon sa triangle offense na uh, dinevelop nila. So iba yung ano, iba yung patakbo nung the legend sa coaching sa team phone. Oh yeah. Dahil uh, uh, American way eh. Yeah. Ano, pag superstar ka, pag uh, wala kang production, wala kang magandang pin practice, uh, you will sit. And then pag masama laro mo, walang superstar, superstar, pare-pareho kayo makikita mo pinapagalitan niya. Walang special treatment. And oh. eh, Every day yun, makikita mo, sila ni Jolas ang nag-aaway. <laughs> <laughs> Nag-aanuan yun sila ni Jolas. Okay ito ha. <laughs> ano, ano pinag-aawayan nila? Ano pinag- Because nga, about following the triangle offense and Jolas would sometimes have difficulty trying to adapt to it. Ganun ba yun? Hindi naman kasi si Jolas talaga sa triangle master na yan. Okay. Minsan, alam mo, si, 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 siyempre si Jolas leader yun eh. Uh, so, may mga, po, may mga points din sa Minran na napapansin niya. And talagang kakausapin niya si team straight. Yun ang maganda kay Jolas. Ipapakita niya na leader siya ng team. Minsan, pag mali yung inaano ni team, ilalaban niya yung mga teammates niya. Ganun si Jolas. So, kaya minsan nagbabanggaan yung silang dalawa. So, si Jolas, makikita mo na, oy ito yung leader. Ito yung... Ito yung team leader talaga siya na mapipil mo na ah, nilalaban niya ang teammates niya. And, 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 so, yun ang makagandan. Oh, and I guess for the benefit of our audience, it's not that we're saying that one or the other is wrong. Yeah. But the, mm-hmm. triangle, the triangle offense, as it is, 
has so many variables eh. Di ba? There's so many vari- variations of it. But, of course, for somebody who's the coach and for somebody who's the player, there are different viewpoints as to how to execute it. Di ba? So, kaya, minsan siguro, nagbabagaan sila na utak dahil iba yung interpretation ni Jola sa interpretation ni team. Hindi na, it's not that one or the other is wrong, but the viewpoint, the perspective is different. So kaya nagkakaroon ng bumping of heads, di ba? Yun lang kasi yun. ang 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 triangle offense, ano siya, eh, napakahirap siya kasi it's it's a read and react system. Yeah. Read and react. Read and react. Yeah. Uh, read, read and react yeah. siya. So uh, pag lima doon, hindi nag-react, hindi nag-read yung isa o dalawa doon, patay na siya. Patay na. Hindi na siya triangle. Hindi na siya triangle. Hindi na siya tatak. Hindi na siya tatak mo. Maging circle na lang. Circle na siya pa ikaw. Yun, okay. I'll put this out there, Kenneth. The 90s, no? So, I'm a San Miguel fan. Like, diehard San Miguel fan. So, nung time na nanalo kayo, I hated Alaska. Like, to the core. Na, umiiyak ako. When, oh my God. Hindi nakita si Papa B sa screen, no? Yeah, I really. So, nung, nung when you guys left for the Centennial team, I was the happiest person. Kasi I think, parang may chance na ata San Miguel Manalo or basta wala ng Alaska. Uh-huh. Even Sean, Sean Chambers knows this that I go, I hate, I hate Alaska because you guys kept winning and winning and winning. <laughs> winning and winning. Against San Miguel tradition. pa. Oo. San Miguel, Shell, Ginebra, yun yung mga mga biktima namin dati. <laughs> biktima? <laughs> <laughs> sakto talaga yung word. Biktima. Oh, sakto. <laughs> pero pero Kenneth sa Alaska sino yung mga favorite players mo there mga kalaro mo uh, ang Alaska kasi isa yun sa naging foundational yung closeness ng yung band ng players mm. no, uh, on and off the court no, kasi meron kang magaling na coach meron kang magaling na organization owner and then meron kang magaling na leader yun nga si Jolas mm. so maganda ang takbo uh, yung yung common goal isa lang sineset aside lahat ng personal interest ang sinasabi ng team lagi noon eh uh, pag pa end ng season hindi usually nananalo ang Alaska players ng individual awards bihira bihira nananalo pero they're collecting championships Team oriented, yes. Uh, team oriented, siya. With a so, triangle to start, in, yes. With a triangle, hindi ka mag maglilit sa stats, wala ka sa scoring, yeah. wala ka sa ano, dal distributed lat ng uh, ng ano ng bola. So, <laughs> if I can add, possibly ba komish your all time Alaska Five teammates mo, and then you yeah, can choose yeah. so, yeah. to so, yeah. you can choose to include yourself so, yeah. there, kung gusto mo as the wing, <laughs> or if not, yeah, yeah. sideline ka lang. Hindi, pwede. Pwede, hindi, hindi, ano niyon, ah, uh, na to, ah, uh, understood na he's one of the best. For oh, the yeah. Okay. He's one of the, understood na, understood na si Kenneth, he's one of the best oh, players oh. franchise ever. In so, set, but, set, but our set. question, but our question to him is, name us your five top Alaska players. Pwede, ano, For by you. position. My my time or present and uh... ah dede wag mo na wag mo na pal wag na wag na natin pa lang pasen na lampas ng panahon mo ayon okay mm-hmm. lang natin your time. before your time. before your time and during and your, your time, time. the best malamang hindi mo malamang hindi mo isasama si Frankie Lim jan <laughs> <laughs> si Frankie Lim kaposisyon niya na si Johnny Abarientos jan yeah oh yeah wag 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 Mga kaibigan, ha, wag kayong uh, chismoso sa Frankie Lim. Mahal namin si Frankie. Uh, Mahal namin si Frankie. We love Frankie Lim. O okay, games, ano yung, ano yung sagot? Ang oh, sino? Sino yung lima? Five. Lima, of course, uh, Johnny, Jolas, okay. and uh, Bongho. One, two. Uh, Bongho. Uh, uh, Jeff and uh, Poch. Winyo. Lakas ng team na yun. <laughs> Agree ako to that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Approve ni Papa B. Approve ako doon. <laughs> yeah. That was a strong, that's a strong team. That's a strong uh, five right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, you have Bong at power, 
You had okay. Poch at center. Center. Mm-hmm. Diba? You had Johnny at That's point. That's point guard. You had Jeff at two. Mm-hmm. Kenneth at three. Well, Kenneth. And, and, and then, well, you know, yeah. you, can, you can easily put Kenneth at three, of course. Yeah. And that triangle would work like magic. Yeah, it did. It did. And it did. And it did. And it did. And it did. Um, so, okay, okay, Claude. So. No, so ako, I'll, I'll go back to the news, uh, uh, present news. No, so yeah, what, are, yeah. what are your yeah. thoughts? No, sa you know, pag alis. Uh, how did you how, yeah. how did it speak to you? How how did it how did it first get to you? That, oh, that how did we learn about it? The announcement of the Fred na hindi niya muna sinabi ato ha, ito yung wrinkle. Hindi niya sinabi sa liga. Oh, right, right. He did not inform the board of board that they will just finish the season at uh, this conference and that's it. He did not tell the board how so did you, you it, yeah. how did you find out uh through social media Ooh, wala, wow. wala, wala. Oh. so it's 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 a sad day uh, actually the whole day hindi ko alam kung ano ko eh. uh, yeah. wala akong ano wala akong maiisip wala akong ano kung hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari parang biglang bumigat lang yung katawan ko hindi ko malaman kung anong gagawin ko uh, and uh Ara, ang dami mo mababasa sa mga feeds. And then yung mga friends mo, uh, may mga reactions, may mga calls. So, nakakalungkot. And uh, imagine um, ang legacy na may iwan ng Alaska Aces as organization. And yung mga players na, na naging superstar, mga players na gumanda ang buhay. And ang, ang sa akin dito, ang naiisip ko lang is yung present especially yung mga utilities kung sila, saan sila mapupunta ngayon. Yeah. Yung mga players, of course, may mapupunta niyan. Pero yung mga utilities, yeah. mm-hmm. yung mga talagang nagtitape, yung nagbibigay siya ng tubig, yeah. nagmamasahe sa'yo, yun yung hindi mo talaga maiisip eh. Dahil yun yung big part sila ng, ano, ng career ng players. Eh. Yeah. Dahil uh, kasama mo sila everyday, naging kapamilya mo na rin. And uh, yun lang ang medyo mabigat yan kung... Uh, with this time no sa yeah. pandemic pa ngayon yeah. saan sila pupunta yung hard working yeah. staff oh. behind the scenes sila behind yung the scenes. utility yes yes oh. all of that so, people, yeah hmm. I, I, well yeah uh, we, we, we all know that 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 will be that those are the little people that uh, will be the most affected <laughs> by this yeah but uh, looking at it now from a uh, league standpoint uh, you as a former player, a former MVP, a player that really flourished during the Alaska years, the years stay with Alaska. How do you now see? Uh, we will now, we, well, we will eventually transition to you being commissioner now. No, now that yeah, you are yeah. a commissioner mm-hmm. uh, of a of a of, of a very popular league as well. How do you see this affecting the landscape of Philippine basketball? Ah, uh, ang sa akin na nakikita ko talaga diyan is uh, may 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 reason uh, na yung I imagine one of the best uh, teams in PBA history ay mawawala. Yeah. So in in effect, uh, maraming questions ang papasok kung ano ba talaga ang the real score. Kung it's is it maybe uh, time for them to leave the the game we love or uh, there are some other reasons. So, ang mga, ang epekto lang naman yan sa players is uh, uh, nasa PBA, kung what's for them in the future. And dito naman sa baba, hindi pa naman nagpo-pro and nandito pa naman sa liga namin, uh, okay pa naman sila dahil uh, may mga nakikita silang bright future for them. Pero sa ngayon, yung mga present, dahil ang impact niyan, parang uh, uh, hindi nila alam kung mm. ano ang ano pa ang career nila for for them kung meron pa ba or that's it also for them uh, do you think do you think that this might signal a a, a, a similar exodus, exodus of other teams that uh, for some people are not getting a fair shake 
with the within if, the PBA, within the PBA system. If it will reach the boiling point na that uh, yung mga fans is uh, alam nila na wala na talagang wala nang direction. Kasi nakikita nila ito na ngayong Alaska ang pinaka I mean pinaka One of the quote unquote the independent teams. Eh. Independent honest, team. Uh, independent uh, team. Honest, apart from and, apart from Rainer yes. Shine, right? Yes, and siguro pag dumating na talaga yan, and nakikita na siguro na yan, na pipilar na iba. Yeah. Na mahirap na mag-compete if the playing field is not level. Mm. Yeah. Merap na. Hindi na ma- hindi na makapag-compete. Eh, eh yung fans mismo marunong na eh. Nakikita na nila. So, unless gagawa ng uh, drastic changes ang uh, PBA. Okay. They will ma- magso-survive yeah. 'yun. Magso-survive. Now, now, now that you're a commissioner of a of a uh, of a league, I'll put you in a spot. And I I and I'm sure a lot of people that are tuned in to us would would want to hear your reaction to this. <laughs> If you were the commissioner of the PBA, <laughs> what would you do to get Role back play. to get back the trust of the fans, or to get back the play of the nineties? Or yeah, or eighties, nineties, the, uh, the glory days of how the be- was before. I uh, just listen to the fans, and you will get the answers. Very safe. Fans. Very straight to the point. Yes. Very straight to the point. <laughs> Just listen to the fans. And yeah, but I actually, I, I actually agree with Kenneth. Yeah, yeah. actually, yes. agree. And, and agree also. Not, 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 not to kiss his ass, but that's what the MPBL is doing. They're listening to the fans. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's why there is a that that's why there is a good resonance of the league in the provinces because that's where they that's their base. It's in mm. the province. It's not in Manila. Mm. They'd rather be in the provinces, play their games there, than be here in Metro Manila. <laughs> Listen to the fans. Tama, I like that. Tama. Dami nga nag 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 May bagong quote tayo, Claudia. No. Listen to the fans. <laughs> Listen to the fans. Listen to the fans. Parang ano, parang karing singer niyan. Parang singer niyan, <laughs> di ba? Parang artista. Listen to the fans. Tama na. Tama na yung parating pare-pareho yung storyline na uh, boy meets girl. Di ba? Parang tama na yung storyline boy meets girl. Uh, si girl, either si girl o si boy, mahirap. <laughs> tapos, lalapas tanganin ng mas mayamang tao, ng pamilya, whatever. Tapos, eventually, sila magkakatulo yan. <laughs> oh, anyway, boy, that's out of the topic na. Teka lang. So, balik kay Kenneth. So, Kenneth. Um, Good ako, ah. Okay. Clo- pa-closing na naman tayo kasi it's already been an hour na. No? Kenneth, right. you know, you you played for the, of course, the PBA. You had a wonderful <laughs> career as a PBA. You're a commissioner now. But not a lot get to play for the Philippine team. Diba? Uh, the World Cup qualifier, uh, the Asian Cup is coming for the World Cup. Uh, for the We're World hosting Cup next We're year. hosting it. Iko, um, Kenneth, how was it that uh, in terms of your uh, donning the Philippine jersey, how did you feel about that? Provincia ka, biglang, of course, like, you were 6'3", tapos biglang here, naging guard ka, naging wing. Naging biglang, superstar, naging, everything. Biglang kinuha ka ng national team. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if you play for the plug, uh, that's the highest honor na may share mo sa the rest of uh, the Filipino basketball fans or your to your family and friends. No? Uh, wala nang makakakuha sa'yo yan na naging part ka, naging, nas- naging part ka ng national team. So, kahit na ilang championships pa yan, no, ilang uh, individual awards, pero pag sinabi mo national team, you be called to play, huwag ka na magdalang isip kasi uh, you play for flag. Wala na ibang katulad yan. Has there, the did, 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 did it ever happen that when you were wearing the country's colors na when you heard the national anthem in the yeah. <laughs> uh, remember yeah i want to remember ask nung it. remember nung 1994 nung uh hindi yung yes yung 1994 yung asian games sa hiroshima japan yung opening ceremony 
yung umiikot kayo sa oval, yun ang nakakaiyak. Wow. Anong parade? Anong parade? Yung parade. Yung parade. Yun ang nakakaiyak. Wow. Yun yun imagine nakakayak, yeah. imagine yeah. that, Boya and Claro, si Kenneth coming from South Katumato. Diba? Yes. The big lang, you know, you didn't know a thing about basketball, how big basketball was then here in Manila. Naging MVP ka, part of their top uh, 25 greatest PPA players of all time. Uh, nine-time uh, all-star. And then don the Philippine uh, jersey. What a career you know, for you. Mm-hmm. But, storybook uh, ending yung part. Sorry, yeah. Storybook ending. Talaga. Now a commissioner sa... sa Ayun pa. Well, y- di ba? One of the uh, rising leagues. Pero Kenneth, I have one question before Claro can also end. No? Is, actually, may, 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 may na kaming two magical questions. Mm-hmm. But my first question, how did you get Captain Marvel? Ayun. <laughs> Okay. Uh, actually, my hometown, yung old name niya is Marbel. Right now, it's Coronadal City. So, pero ang old name niya is Marbel. So, siguro, the way I play before, yun nga, sinasabi nila kanina na parang, yun nga, uh, parang Marvelous. So, yeah. doon nila yung ano yung name ko na pati Marbel. I remember si, si Butch Maniego ang nagbigay sa akin ng moniker niya. Si Butch yun, si Butch. Si Butch Maniego. Okay. Butch yun, si Butch. The late. The late. The late. The late. Butch the late and the great. The late Butch. Uh, the late Butch. No credit did to you, him. Did you, did you like that? Did you... Yeah, yes, approve mo ka agad. Or approve yes, yun. Malamang. Yes. Yes. Kasi dito ngayon, sa province, yung talagang pagkakilala sa akin. <laughs> ah, talaga? Captain. <laughs> Dehuda, Captain. Ano na yan? Nasa, nasa, nasa kali ka. Oy, Captain, kumusta? Ganun mm. Cap, Captain. Hindi kaya natang tawag. Cap. Yung nickname. Kala nila Piloto, no? Yung mga hindi kilala. For Kumish, of course, where do you see yourself five years from now? Will you still be doing the same thing or will you move to do other things? Uh, hindi ko masabi. Sa ngayon kasi, uh, sa panahon ngayon, kagaya niyan, uh, yung nangyari sa Alaska, hindi rin natin na-expect yan. So, mangyayari din yan sa, sa iba. Um, hindi ko rin sinasabing yung liga namin, uh, abutin din ng mga years, ilang years, ibang liga, magtatagal din. So, biglaan eh. Pero, as much as I want, kung meron pang mga liga na gano'n na basketball league, eh kung makastay tayo na matagal, uh, it's better pa rin. Or in other leagues, Ma- makasama tayo, maging part ng ibang organization, organization uh, I still find it with Ketsan. Yung sagot natin is oriented for the fans talaga. Oh, galing, yes. galing. <laughs> uh, boy, ako, one more question, I'll pass it on to you. Boy. Ako naman, uh, cap, yan, naging cap na yun. No? Cap na lang, tag- no? na lang. <laughs> Ang haba ng PBA career mo, and then you also, again, uh, play for the national team. How would you like people to remember you by? Well, I want them to, re- especially here, I want them to remember me as a uh, provincianong player na I mean, make it big time sa Manila. Dahil uh, uh, yun ang, ano, yun ang, kumbaga, yun ang nagiging di lang premyo sa sarili ko, kundi parang yun din yung gift ko sa mga ka- kababayan ko dito. Mm. Yung su- success ko is success din nila. So, yun ang gusto kong ma-remember nila na I mean from nothing na naging successful doon sa big city Manila. Diba? From a provincial town to Manila to being voted as one of the best in the PBA. Oh, Boyan! Ako, my, my, my parting question will be this. Uh, what? You're now in your uh, 50s? If I'm not mistaken, 40s. 48. 48. What will you tell your 20-year-old self now? Now that you're 40. Ooh. What will you tell your 20-year-old self? 20-year-old self. Uh-huh. What will you tell your 20-year, your 20-year-old self now that you are... Oh, sige, babaan natin. Your 18-year-old 18. self. What will you tell your 18-year-old yeah. self now that you're 30 years older? 
well, mas mas sarap balikan yung 18 year old self na sabihin mo na you're still playing at the highest level of basketball compared to yun nga, parang yung 18 years old, parang those years na parang sasabihin ko sa sarili ko na it's all challenge from the beginning. Uh-huh. It's all hard work. And it's, eh, parang wala kang ano, wala, hindi mo kasiguraduan yung future. Yun yung pinakamaganda nung araw. Eh. Uh-huh. Yung kasabihin ko sa 18-year-old, I'm 18, hindi ko alam kung saan ang direction. Hindi uh-huh. ko alam hey, kung ano. Kung ano baga, <laughs> if, 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 you are will, if you are allowed to time travel, ngayon, ito, Kenneth Doremdes at 48 years old. Time travel ka. Yeah. Pwede mong bisitahin yung 18-year-old Kenneth Doremdes. Ano yung sasabihin mo kay 18-year-old Kenneth Doremdes ngayon na 48 ka? Baka may straight to the tell, point. What yeah. will you tell that 18-year-old Kenneth Doremdes? Huwag mong bantayin si Rudy Distrito. Yun. Or ano, <laughs> mag-weights mag- wait. mag- ka, matulog ng maaga. Mag- hindi, <laughs> hindi, hindi. Kung babalikan, sasabihin ko sa 18-year-old siguro na Uh, mahirap parang uh, paano mo paano mo parang paano what mo will, what, yun? Parang, what will your word of parang, advice be for an 18 year old kid ah. this that now oh, the ang hirap what, will, what word of advice you give him will it be something like okay just to give you an idea will it be something like sige lang Just do as much and as best as you can now that you're here in Coronadal. Because there are bigger things that will await you as you grow older. Yung katipong ganun. What will, what will you tell your 18-year-old self? Sabi nga ni Clau eh. Oh, uh, pag, pag, pag tanda-tanda mo, uh, maging, maging pidaw ka sa ta- pa- pa- taong ang pangalan Rudy Distrito. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> mong bantayan si Rudy. Huwag mong bantayan si Rudy. <laughs> What will your advice be for him? Your 18-year-old self? Um, yung advice siguro doon sa 18-year-old Kenneth, parang sasabihin ko na huwag kang bumigay. Yun! Huwag kang bumigay. Huwag kang bumigay. Huwag kang bumigay. Parang, I mean, nandiyan ka na. So, marami ka ng pinagdaanan. Nahirap. So, Tuloy mo, wag mo, wag ka lang bumag. Wag, wag. I like that. Wag kang bumigay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I like the answers. Yes. So, <laughs> last na talaga. Kenneth, <laughs> no. Shout out sa mga nanonood. Yan. Your thank yous and uh, of course, siguro to the Alaska fans, di ba? The Alaska um, fans, the Swift fans, <laughs> the Andalusia fans, that have the PBA, followed their uh, career all this year. Sa lahat na lang ng mga fans, especially doon sa diehard fans ng Alaska, uh, ano kung napapanood nila tayo ngayon or narinig sila yung mga taga Iluilo, si Tweet, sila Tweet, sila Clary, madami sila. Uh, the mm-hmm. late Edwin, yung fan ko sa Manila noon, um, dahil din sa support nila and doon sa pagtsatsaga no? uh, at uh, na-inspire tayo sa binibigay nilang suporta noon, nagpapasalamat tayo sa lahat. And the whole uh, Alaska organization, dahil uh, sila yung nagbigay ng second chance sa career ko. Team Cohn, my great uh, teammates, and uh, sa mga naging teammates ko rin, di lang sa Alaska. But, uh, gaya nga siya sabi nila, mm, lahat naman ay may katapusan. No? And uh, ang swerte lang natin, bago matapos yung era ng Alaska, naging part tayo. Oh, in close words, wala pa rin tatalo sa Alaska. <laughs> wala pa rin tatalo. Uh, wala pa rin tatalo. din, no? Alaska men. <laughs> Alaska men, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> late, oh, great Cisco Oliver. Cisco Oliver, uh, important. Okay, so thank you so much, Kenneth. Uh, para kinakagad ka na atang na madaming lamok. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much uh, to the people that are watching from Zoom. Yes. Uh, we shout out Zoom. Yes, yeah, shout out to everyone. Thank you again. And uh, this is episode 
Six. Six. In the books. Yeah. Bye. Yay. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you, Kamish.